So we're going to find our bodies in a comfortable seated pose, any easy seat that feels good for you. May you find your position. I am sitting in a half lotus. As we are using our easy seat to help relax and wind down the mind and body here today. Ensuring that the tummy is nice and tight at the navel. Spinal cord is nice and elongated, meaning we are not stalking. Having a nice straight back gives us control of our bodies. As we relax our shoulders downward away from our ears, when we relax our shoulders down, this helps us relax and soothe the upper parts of our bodies. A lot of people complain about neck pain and tension in their shoulders. So simply reminding our students to relax those shoulders downward could help relax and ease some of the neck pain and shoulder stress they may feel. As we take a nice deep breath in, exhale through the mouth. Breathe in deeply. Exhale fully. Taking a moment to notice how the breath feels within the body. As we breathe our palms at heart center, coming into a seated prayer, our thumbs are touching the center of our chest. As we relax here, simply just going inward, silent meditation for natural breaths. Two more breaths. As we relax our palms downward towards the earth, connecting our palms to our yoga mat, we are using our palms to tune into our environment. Taking a moment to notice what is going on around us, right here, right now, in our present moment. And during our session here today, we may hear noises and sounds. We may become distracted. However, may we only allow in what is comforting and soothing for us in our practice here today. Three more breaths. Two breaths. As we flow our palms above our heads, flowing into a seated salute, palms are together, flowing upwards towards the heavens. Our shoulders flows up towards our ears, allowing that spinal cord to get nice and elongated here. As we interlace those fingers with that pointer finger pointing up towards the heavens, our heart chakras open, our chin is up. As we allow our arms to flow slightly towards the back of the room, this is a slight back bend. You'll feel this in your lumbar spine, your lower back. Tummies are nice and tucked in at our navel. We get to hold this for three breaths. Two breaths. And exhaling back to center, separating those palms, coming into that seated extended mountain. When our palms are separated, it is an extended mountain. When our palms are together, it is a seated salute. So taking a moment to notice the difference between a salute and an extended mountain with our palms. Palms separated, our heart chakras open, our chin is up. Slightly gazing those eyes down as we breathe in. Exhale. Lower our palms to our seated star. Palms are outward towards the side here in that seated star. We're going to hold this for a couple breaths. That heart chakra is open, that chin is up. Taking a nice breath in, exhale, twist the body towards the right, palms come downward towards the earth as we gaze over that right shoulder, feeling that seated twist. You'll feel this here in your spinal cord. To go deeper in this twist, you can connect the left hand to the right knee as the eyes are slightly gazed downward or closed. We are using this twist to decompress the spine, to soothe and relax. Noticing how this feels in the body for three more breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling back the center, flowing into that star. Palms are outward towards the side. Breathe in. Exhale. 
Twist the body towards the left. Palms come down towards the earth as we gaze over that left shoulder. Optioning to bring that right hand to that left knee to go deeper in that twist as we decompress that spine. Eyes are gaze down for three more breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling back the center, flow into that star. Palms are out towards the side. Chin is up. Flowing into that extended mountain, breathing those palms above the head, but they are not together. Extended mountain. Seated extended mountain, to be exact. As we breathe our palms together, coming into that seated salute, palms are together above our heads. Exhaling down to heart center, seated prayer. Palms relaxes downward in front of the chest, relaxing those shoulders downward away from the ears. Soothing and relaxing the upper parts of our bodies, our shoulders, our necks. With the eyes, gaze downward or close. Maybe take a moment to check in, noticing how we feel within our bodies. Four breaths of silence. Mm -hmm. Two more breaths. As we flow our feet into a bound position, coming into a diamond or a butterfly, we are in our bound holes, meaning the bottoms of our feet are connected. This is a hip opener. So if we ever have clients, they say they have tight hips, we can put them in a bound pose to help relax and soothe and loosen up those hip flexors here. Now, the diamond and a butterfly looks almost identical, except the butterfly, the feet are closer towards the body. It is a deeper hip opener. A diamond, the feet are further away from the body. It is also a deep hip opener, but it's not as deep. So taking a moment to notice how the diamond feels and a butterfly feels. And you may notice that sometimes when yoga instructors teach this pose, they may ask the students to flap those wings if they're in a diamond or a butterfly. You can move those legs up and down, noticing how that feels within the hip flexors when you flap. Or we can just have them stay still here and just notice how the pose feels within a body allowing the hip flexors to relax as we take nice, subtle breaths, gaze forward, eyes are slightly gaze down. Two more breaths. Spinal cord is elongated, tummies are tight. To go deeper in the hip flexor, we can actually hinge at the hips, lean in the body forward. Allowing those shoulder blades to melt forward, head melts downward towards the feet. You'll feel this in your lumbar spine as well. It's also opening up those hips. But only going down as much as your body comfortably allows you to go down to. You don't want to overstretch or overwork the body. So listening to your body, my voice is just a guide. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling back up to center, straightening back, heart chakras open, chin is up. As we allow our head to relax between our shoulder blades, we are flowing into a bound cow pose. Their heart chakras open, that chin is up. As we flow into our bound cat, breathing our chin to our clavicle, tummies are tight, spinal cord flows to the back of the room, cat pose. Flowing back to cow. Exhale, cat. Coming to center, we're going to straighten our left leg out towards the side, nice and wide. Breathing that leg out towards the side. We're going to connect this right foot to the inner thigh of that left leg. We're going to feel that stretch. We're going to take this left hand, connect this left hand to that left toe, and lean that body towards that left leg. We are in that revolved stretch. You'll feel this in the side body. It's a nice stretch in the side body. Is also, we can call this a revolved head to toe stretch, allowing or head to knee stretch, allowing that head to relax downward towards that knee. Coming deeper in that stretch, we also can option to relax that left hand on the earth and breathing that right, that right arm up in the air and throwing it over the head, feeling that nice deep stretch. We are in that revolved head to knee stretch. 
And we're going to hold this pose for three more breaths, just feeling a stretch in the side body. Two more breaths. Exhaling out, coming back to center. We're going to straighten our right leg back out. We are back in that wide-legged. Well, well, we are in our wide-legged forward fold, fold. And we're going to hinge at the hips just a little. Notice that when we hinge at the hips, you will feel that stretch here in your inner thighs. It is relaxing and soothing. Lengthening and elongating here. We're going to keep that back nice and straight as we hinge forward. No sunken backs. Keeping that back nice and elongated. Their heart chakra is open and that shin is up. Two more breaths. Exhaling to center, straightening that back. We are nice and elongated. We are wide-legged. As we breathe this left foot inside of that right thigh, that left, left foot connects to that right inner thigh. And we're going to connect this right hand to the right toes, feeling that stretch in this revolved position here, this side body stretch. We can come head to knee by allowing our Body to relax downward towards that knee, head melts downward. And you'll feel the stretch here in the side body as well as behind the legs and the hamstrings. We also can option to relax that right hand on the earth, palms up, and breathing that left arm over the head, feeling that stretch, head come down, maybe connecting the hands to the toes if we're able. We are in that revolve head to toe stretch and you'll feel this all in the side body. You'll feel it behind the legs and the hamstrings. Allowing the eyes to gaze down and relax. Two more breaths. Slowly coming out, exhaling back to center, straightening that left leg. We are back in our wild legged. Our backs are straight, heart chakras open, chin is up. Allowing the head to relax between the shoulder blades. Feeling that cow pose. Exhale into cat, bringing that chin to clavicle, spinal cord flows to the back of the room, tucking it to me in. Back to neutral, we're gonna hand at the hips, connecting our hands to our lower legs or our feet, feeling that stretch. We're gonna keep that nice straight back. That chin is up. Exhaling back up, nice and elongated. We're going to bring our legs together. Coming to that staff pose, our legs are parallel side by side. Toes are pointing upwards towards the heavens. Tummies are tucked in at our navel. Spinal cord is nice and long. Shoulders relax down away from the ears. Here in our staff pose, we're going to just take a moment to go inward. Placing our palms on our laps or anywhere that feels good for us. As we take a nice breath in. Exhale. And we're going to slightly hinge at the hips, coming into a half forward fold. We are in our seated forward fold, half. Our backs are straight, chin is up. And you will feel this behind your legs and your hamstrings. So we are continuing to work our hamstrings as we can feel it behind our legs. This half forward fold is great for people who have tight hamstrings. To go deeper, we can connect our hands to our ankles or the bottoms of our feet. Now we are in that seated, complete forward fold, allowing the shoulders to melt down and the head melts downward towards the knees. And simply just feeling this lengthening stretch here. Taking nice, subtle breaths. Allowing the body to relax and soothe. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling up to center. We're going to come to half back to staff pose. We are back at center. Relaxing those shoulders downward away from the ears. Tummies are tight. Backs elongated. As we breathe out, palms above our head and absolute. Palms together. Interlacing the fingers with that point of finger. Point up. Heart chakras open. Chin is up. As the arms slightly flow towards the back of the room. Two more breaths. Exhaling back to center, breathing the palms down that heart center, coming into that staff, prayer hands, shoulders relax down away from the ears. 
being mindful to keep those shoulders relaxed downward. No more sitting in tension. No more sitting tense. Nice and relaxed. Two more breaths. Breathe in. Exhale. Noticing how the breath relaxes and soothes the mind and body. As we cross our feet at our ankles, we're going to come into a tabletop pose. We are on our hands and our knees. Our palms are flat on the earth. Our knees are hip distance apart. And we're going to drop that tummy down to the earth, coming into that cow. That chin is slightly up. This cow pose is great for lumbar, lower back pain. And we can hold this cow pose for a couple breaths, or we can flow into cat cow rotations. And our cat, our chin comes towards our clavicle, tummies are tight, spinal cord flows up towards the heavens. We are in that cat. Cat pose. Lower back down to our cow. So we can do a couple of cat cows. Do our natural breath here. Doing what feels best for you and your body. Two more breaths. We're going to find our pause at center, extending that right leg towards the back, feeling that stretch. Palms are still flat on the earth. We are working on our sunbird. This is our sunbird prep. It's going to keep our palms flat on the earth with that right leg pointed towards the back. Pointing those toes towards the back of the room, feeling that stretch. We are gaze forward. Tummies are nice and tight. As we pulse that right leg up and down, when we pulse it up and down, we are working on that gluteus maximus, rounding and and lifting the buttocks. So we can pulse it up and down if we choose. For three more breaths. Two breaths. Finding our pause at center, squeezing it nice and tight as we extend that left arm forward. So the right legs to the back, left arms forward. We are gaze forward. We are in that full sunbird. If we need help with balance or if our balance is off, we can lower our right toes downward towards the earth. We are still in that sunbird. We're just working on our balance. So right legs towards the back or right toes are downward towards the earth. We're going to hold this pose for breaths, building strength. This is a balancing and strengthening pose. Two more breaths. Taking a nice breath in. Exhale, breathing that knee to that elbow, feeling that crunch. Back to bird. Knee to elbow. Back to bird. Knee to elbow. Blowing back to bird, two breaths. Coming to our table, knees are hip distance. We're going to drop down to cow. Chin is up. Exhale to cat. Flowing back to our table as we extend that left leg towards the back, feeling that stretch. Both of our palms are flat on the earth. We're going to point our toes towards the back of the room, coming nice and deep in that stretch. Gaze forward, tummies are tight. Optioning to pulse that left leg up and down, working on rounding and lifting that gluteus maximus. We're going to hold it for three more breaths, pulsing it up and down. Two breaths. We're going to find our pause and pulse it up nice and tight, feeling that squeeze as we breathe that right arm forward. So left legs to the back, right arms forward. We are in that full sunbird. We are gazed forward. Optioning to lower those left toes downward towards the earth to assist with balance. Or we can keep that leg straight. Four breaths. Two more breaths. Taking a nice breath in. Exhale, bringing that knee to the elbow, feeling that crunch. Back to bird. Knee to elbow. Back to bird, knee to elbow. 
Flowing back to bird. Exhale into table. As we drop down to cow, chin is up. Flow into our cat. Coming back to table. As we breathe our buttocks towards the heels of our feet, coming into a child's pose, our tummies relax between our thighs. Our arms are extended in front of us, palms spread on the earth. As our forehead, third eye chakra connects to the yoga mat. Our heart chakra, our chest is also connected to the earth. With our eyes slightly gazed downward or closed. Using this pose to go inward. Focusing on self. Noticing how we feel right here, right now in our present moment. Without judgment, simply being aware. As we relax in our child's pose, five breaths of silence. Optioning to breathe our palms above our heads in a prayer hands. Four more breaths. If we're in our prayer hands, we're going to flow back to our extended child's pose, palms flat on the earth in front of us. Lifting that chin off the earth, slightly gazing forward. We're going to spinal wave our bodies out of our child's pose, using our palms to wave our torso forward and using our palms to push our buttocks towards our heels. Feeling that spinal wave, optioning to allow the head and neck to flow into that wave. Using this wave to decompress the entire spinal cord. Three more natural breaths. Two breaths. Mm. Finding our pause at center, we are back to table. As we push our bodies up to our down dog, gazing at our feet. Mm. Walking our dog by pedaling our feet left and right, building strength in our arms. Tummies are nice and tight. We're going to find our pause, shifting our weight forward to high plank. This works the upper parts of the body, the arms, the shoulders, the back blades. Exhaling down to low plank or chaturanga, hovering over the yoga mat. Coming onto our tummies, coming into a Sphinx pose. We are on our forearms. Our shoulders are not shrugged meaning they are away from the ears. That chin is up, heart chakra is open. Eyes are slightly gazed down or closed. Maybe our palms are at prayer hands. Taking a nice breath in. Exhale through the mouth. This Spanx pose, Spanx pose is a slight back bend. We're gonna take a couple moments to simply just go inward. Relaxing, silent meditation here for four more breaths. Two breaths. As we flow into a baby cobra, placing our palms next to our torso, elbows are slightly bent. This is a little deeper in that back bend, baby cobra with bent elbows. Coming into a cobra, we straighten those elbows a little more. It is a deeper back bend, relaxing those shoulders away from the ears. Chin is up. Exhale into an up dog, taking those thighs off the earth. Now we're in an up dog. Chin is up, heart chakra is open. Taking a nice breath. Exhale. Flow into down dog, gazing at the feet. Walking a dog by pedal on the feet, left and right. Finding pause, exhaling back to up dog, coming closer to the earth. Thighs are hovering over the yoga mat. 
Chin is up, heart chakras open, up dog. Exhale into cobra, allowing the thighs to connect to the earth. Cobra pose. Baby cobra, bending those elbows, coming closer to the earth. Thanks pose, we are on our forearms. Shoulders relaxed away from the ears. Heart chakras open, chin is up. Taking a nice breath. Exhale. With our eyes slightly gazed down or closed, we're gonna take a moment to notice the difference between the poses we just did. We are in our space pose now. From here, we flowed into a baby cobra. We went into a cobra. And then we went into an up dog. Take a notice of how all these poses look very similar. They feel very similar, yet they're working a little bit different parts of the body. So just take a moment to notice the difference between these poses as we relax and Spanx pose for three more breaths. Two more breaths. As we flow out of our Spanx pose, coming into a Superman, Supergirl, extending our arms in front of us. Taking our feet, our thighs off the earth, we are in that Superman, Supergirl. If we choose, we can act like we're flying by moving our bodies left and right, like we are flying through life, hovering over whatever we want to hover over. That chin is up, heart chakras open, three more breaths. You'll feel this in your backs of your legs, your gluteus maximus, as well as your upper parts of your bodies. It's working your back as well. Two more breaths. As we swim our hands towards the back, coming into a locust pose, we're going to continue to work the entire back parts of our bodies, the backs of our arms, our legs, our buttocks, gluteus maximus. <sighs> Chakras open, chins up here in this locust. <sighs> Two more breaths. We're going to hold this locust, but we're going to relax downward into a sleeping locust, just allowing our bodies to relax down. Shoulders melt forward, coming onto our forehead. Our third eye chakra, allowing the shoulders to melt down. We are in our sleeping locus, allowing those eyes to gaze down to close. We're going to use this locus to take a moment to go inwards. We are focusing on self. We are mindful of where we are in this present moment. May we go in silent meditations to six natural breaths. Four more breaths. Mm -hmm. Exhale, slowly awakening from that sleeping locust, lifting the body up. We are back in that locust pose. Feet, thighs, arms comes off the earth, heart chakras open. Open chin is up. Feeling the muscles in the back parts of our bodies working here. As we flow into a half bow pose, connecting the right hand to the right ankle, we are in a half bow. If we're able, we can come into a full bow, connecting that left hand to the left ankle. Now we're in that full bow, using our feet to lift our torso further away from the earth. This is a deep back bend. Heart chakras open, chin is up. Two more breaths. Exhaling out, coming back to that sleeping locust for three breaths. Feel the blades melt forward. Forehead, third eye chakras connected to the earth. Two more breaths. Swimming our hands in front of us, coming back to that Superman, Supergirl, arms off the earth, feet, thighs off the earth, Superman, Supergirl, three breaths. 
two breaths. Now one back to our space pose. We are on our forearms. Shoulders are away from the ears. Heart chakras open, chin is up. Taking a nice deep breath in through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Noticing how that breath feels within the body. As we flow to our cobra or our baby cobra, exhale into up dog, taking those thighs off the earth. Their heart chakras open, chin is up. Flow into down dog, gazing at the feet. Walking out with dog, by pedal on our feet, left and right. As we flow into a three-legged dog, lifting that right leg up in the air, nice and high, gazing back at that foot. Breathing that right knee to that right elbow, feeling that crunch. Back to three-legged. Knee to elbow, we are working in the upper parts of our bodies. Knee to elbow, back to three-legged. Knee to elbow. Blowing back to three-legged. Exhale, down dog, gazing at your feet. As we switch sides, three-legged opposite, left leg blows up in the air. Breathing that left knee to that left elbow, feeling that crunch. Back to three-legged. Knee to elbow. Back to three-legged. Knee to elbow. Flowing back to three. Exhaling down dog. As we drop down to our dolphin, coming onto our forearms, but axis high in the air, we are gazed at the back of the room. This dolphin pose prepares the body for headstand. This is a headstand prep pose. We're going to hang out here in this dolphin for four more breaths. Optioning to pulse up and down on your tippy toes if that feels good. Dropping down to our knees, we're going to come into a puppy pose. In our puppy pose, our thighs are slightly close together, but axis is high in the air. Heart chakra comes down with towards the earth. Third eye chakra forehead connects to the yoga mat. Arms are extended in front of us with palms flat on the earth. That is an extended puppy pose. I'm sorry, an extended, yes, extended puppy pose. Or we can come into a prayer hands puppy pose by breathing our palms together and flowing them over our head. Whatever feels best for you here in our puppy pose, feel in a heart chakra connect to our environment, connecting to the earth. Our third eye chakra is connecting. As our eyes are gazed down, our minds are relaxing. Our bodies are soothing and relaxing. May we hang out here in silent meditation for six natural breaths. Two more breaths. If we're in our prayer hands, we're going to flow into an extended puppy pose, palms in front of us, arms are in front of us, palms flat down on the earth. As we spine away our bodies out of our puppy pose, maybe doing three to four spinal waves.
finding pause at center, coming to our table, dropping down to cow. Exhale the cat. Flowing back to our table as we push our bodies up to our down dog, gazing at the feet. Walking our feet forward, coming into a complete forward fold. And this complete forward fold, this is a full body stretch. You may feel the stretch behind your legs and your hamstrings as our head melts downward towards the earth. Our heart chakra is connected to our thighs. This also helps with anxiety. It helps regulate and soothe the knees to heartbeat. Just gonna hang out here for a couple more breaths, noticing how the pose feels within the body. Two more breaths. Exhale into half forward fold. Our backs are straight. We are gazed forward. Yogi walking our feet slightly apart, creating that nice stance. Nice and wide, if that feels good. Flowing back down to a complete forward fold. Maybe connecting the hands to the ankles, if that feels good. Or flowing into a rag doll, connecting the hands to the elbows. As we rock or sway from side to side, Noticing that when we rock and sway from side to side, you'll feel the stretch behind the legs and your hamstrings a little more. So this full body stretch as we sway and rock is really, really good with, with loosening up tight hamstring. And we're going to use this pose to relax and soothe for a couple more breaths. Finding pause, coming to a half forward fold, backs are straight. Flowing up to a wide legged Tadasana. Mountain pose, palms are at our side. Heart chakras open, chin is up. Taking a nice deep breath in. Exhale through the mouth. As we breathe our palms to the side, coming into a standing star. Keeping that heart open, keeping that chin up, eyes are gazed down. Feeling nice and strong here in our standing star. For we are bright and we will always shine brightly throughout our days, throughout our nights. Even in our darkest, we are still shining. We will continue to grow. We will continue to move. We will be our star. We will be our own light at the end of the tunnel regardless. As we relax here, silent meditation, four more breaths. Two breaths. Taking a nice breath in. Exhale to cactus hands, bending those knees, come into goddess stance. We are standing strong in our goddess, God stance. We are our power, we are our strength. As we are working on building strength in the lower parts of our bodies here in this goddess stance. You'll feel the quads, the gluteus maximus, as well as the calves working here. We can option to pulse up and down if that feels good. Or we can rock that body from side to side, noticing the different, the different muscle groups we use when we pulse, when we rock, and when we stay still. Four more breaths. Two breaths. Exhale up the standing star, straightening those legs. Palms come out towards the side. That heart chakra is open, that chin is up, breathe in, exhale. Three breaths of silence. Two breaths. Exhale and back down, come into that goddess, God stance. As we breathe our palms above our head and that goddess salute, chin is up. 
Exhale down to prayer, palms come heart center. Relaxing those shoulders down away from the ears. Four breaths. Two breaths. Exhale, wide legs forward, fold. Connecting the hands to the ankles, head melts down. Feeling this full body stretch is also a counter stretch to the pose we just used. We just did. Using this pose to relax and soothe the muscles we just worked. As we gaze our eyes down, we're to close our eyes. Feeling the nothing stretch here. For five breaths. Optioning to rock which way from side to side, if that feels good. Two more breaths. Finding pause at center, coming into a half forward fold. We are nice and wide legged, gaze forward. Walking our hands forward, breathing our legs together. We are back in down dog. Flowing down to a dolphin pose, coming onto our forearms. Buttocks is high in the air. We are gazed at the back of the room. Dropping down to our knees, coming into a child's pose or a puppy pose. Whatever feels best for you. Six natural breaths. Using our palms to spine away our bodies out, pushing our body forward or waving our bodies forward and then waving our buttocks to the heels of our feet. You'll feel this rotation throughout the spine. As we find pause at center, coming into table, crossing our feet at our ankles, coming onto our buttocks. As we flow onto our backs, coming into a reclined position. Breathing our knees into our chest, hugging them in. Knees to chest. Our shoulder blades are melted back, connecting to the yoga mat. Taking a nice deep breath in. Exhale through the mouth. Lifting those legs up in the air, legs on the wall poles, with the toes pointed up towards the heavens. Breathing those legs towards the torso. Your thighs comes towards your torso. Connecting the hands to the ankles or the feet if that feels good. Your buttocks might come slightly off the earth. Coming into this nice full stretch. Exhale back to center. Legs on the wall. Toes are pointing up towards the heavens. Dorsiflex. <sighs> As we flow into a wide legged, breathing our legs outward towards the sides, feeling that nice wide legged stretch. Optioning to connect the hands to the toes. Two more breaths. Using our hands to breathe our legs back inwards. Hugging our knees into our chest. Let's flow into a happy baby. Bringing those knees out towards the sides. Feet are up in the air. We are in that happy baby. This here is a hip opener. We can breathe our palms between our thighs. Bring them out towards the edges. And connect them to our feet in this happy baby. We can option to rock the body from side to side. Using the earth to relax and soothe your spine. Or we can simply stay still and relax and soothe in our happy baby for four natural breaths. Two more breaths. Hmm. 
exhaling out of that happy baby, hugging those knees into the chest. <sighs> As we allow our knees to flow towards the left, reclined, final twist. Knees flow towards the left. Right arm comes out to the side like a lowercase t. As we are gazed up at the heavens or gaze over our right shoulder. Feel the next spinal twist. Our eyes are gazed downward or closed. As we relax here, silent meditation, five natural breaths. Two more breaths. Exhaling back out, coming to center, breathing the knees into the chest. As the knees flow towards the right, recline spinal twist, opposite side. Feeling that spinal cord decompressed and soothed here as our left arm flows out to the side like a low case P. As we are gazed up at the heavens or gaze over that left shoulder. Our shoulder blades are melted back into the yoga mat with our eyes gaze down and closed. Silent meditation, five breaths. Two more breaths. Exhaling back to center, hugging the knees into the chest. Exhaling legs up in the air, legs on a wall with the toes pointing up towards the heavens. As we breathe our feet, our thighs towards our body, breathing our feet over our head, Feeling that stretch. Exhaling back up to legs on the wall. Breathing our knees into our chest. As we roll onto our side, coming into a fetal pose. Here in our fetal pose, we are using this time to go inward, relaxing and soothing, focusing on ourselves, on our practice, and being mindful of our present moments what's going on within without judgment for five natural breaths. Two more breaths. As we slowly wiggle our toes, rotating our feet at our ankles, moving our buttocks at our hips here as we are awakening the body. Using that top hand to push our bodies up, coming into a seated pose. I'm going to come into a cow face legs. May you find any seat that feels good for you. Hmm. Tummies are nice and tight. Spinal cords are nice and elongated. Shoulders are relaxed downward away from the ears. As we take a nice, deep, intentional breath in. Exhale through the mouth. Breathe in deeply. Exhale fully. As we breathe our palms, their heart center coming into a seated prayer. As we use this time to thank ourselves for allowing ourselves to practice self-care here today. For in a busy, busy world, it is a beautiful thing when we find time.
of self. And I would like to thank you for allowing me to practice self-care with you here today. For it truly, truly is a blessing. The light in me sees, appreciates, and respects the light in you all. Namaste.